Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on iOS 18.2, which is currently sitting in beta 4. Now, this software will most likely become available to everyone within the next two weeks or so. We'll talk about the expected release date for this software as this year things could be a little bit different and I wanted to share my thoughts on that. But I also want to talk about some of the most anticipated features coming with iOS 18.2 and Apple Intelligence. There's a few features that Apple has added like Image Play ground genmoji chat gpt support for siri and much more but you guys have been asking my honest thoughts on some of these new apple intelligent features and i wanted to share that with you guys in today's video so let's go ahead and dive right in so the first thing i want to talk about is playground or image playground a new application for devices with apple intelligence that allows you to create fun images and just go crazy creating anything using ai on your device as you can see right here i created a custom image of me with a christmas or santa claus hat as you can see right there but you can tap here and just describe the image that you want to create or use a person in your contacts to actually create the image based on that person for example i can just choose myself here and it'll create and i guess you can call an animated version of myself as you can see right there you also have the option to actually change it into an illustration as you can see right here just like so by the way we're still missing the sketch option which apple promised will be coming with a later software update now i have to say image playground is a lot of fun if you want to share fun things in social media or update your social media profile with an avatar a view that looks like an animated version of you or, or just want to send something fun to a family member this is great to create images like that but on the daily i don't find myself really using the application much ever since i've been testing the app on iOS 18.2 for the past month or so, I've only created images just for testing, not for using on an everyday to send someone or actually post or anything at all. So Playground is an application that you can download in the App Store for Apple Intelligent devices, and the rating isn't the best as well. As you can see right there, 2.8 stars. So Image Playground, an image generating tool with Apple Intelligence that I think a lot of users are gonna use at first and then probably die out over time. I could be wrong, but I don't find myself using Image Playground playground as often. Next, I want to talk about Genmoji, the ability to create any custom emoji on your iPhone using Apple Intelligence. And I have to say this is very fun, but again, one of those Apple Intelligent features that I don't find myself using as often unless I'm testing the software to see what's capable of doing with every new beta, right? So you go into your keyboard on your iPhone and you're typing away. It's hard to kind of remember that it's there because it's sort of hitting within inside of the emoji keyboard. And I guess that makes sense. But at the same time, I think Apple should probably bring the Genmoji icon, this one right here, over to the corner right section here of the keyboard to remind users, hey, you can actually now create custom emojis based on a description. By having to go into the emoji keyboard, at that point, I'd rather just use one of the emojis that I have here, right? One of the standard emojis. I think it's a lot quicker than actually having to go in here and then just typing a description of exactly what I want. Again, I could be wrong. Many users may want to use this, but you'll see that once iOS 18.2 is out and you have Genmoji, you might even forget that it's there because you have to actually go into the emoji keyboard and actually start right here typing a description to create a custom emoji. Very fun to use once you start using it but you tend to forget that it's even there so honestly on an everyday conversation i forget to even use it or forget that it's even there just because it's not visually there at all times where i can see it and i just think that using standard emojis in my opinion is a lot quicker in the middle of a conversation anyway let's talk about the actual two apple intelligent features coming to ios 18.2 that i've been using and i thought honestly i wouldn't use as much number one is a visual intelligence visual intelligence is an awesome new utility for iphone 16 and 16 pro that allows you to take a picture of something and it will give you a google search it will describe it you can ask your iphone about it and even if you point your iphone at a restaurant and use the visual intelligence it will give you information like the menu the phone number etc and i think it's very very useful and i find myself using this feature more than actually image playground and gemoji believe it or not so yeah the visual intelligence for those of you that have been asking this is a killer feature on iphone and i think it will continue to get better over time now you guys also been asking chat gpt integration and siri with Apple Intelligence. And I have to say, this is also one of the features that I've been using more than I thought I would because ChatGPT honestly is more capable and can answer questions that are more complex 
an actual series. So yeah, the ChatGPT support and the visual intelligence are the two Apple intelligent features that I've been using the most on 18.2. So now let's talk about the official release date for iOS 18.2 because this week is Thanksgiving week here in the United States and typically Apple does not release any beta software this week of the year, okay? Now, Mark Gurman did mention that Apple plans to release iOS 18.2 on December the 2nd, which means that would be next week. So in order to actually get 18.2 on December 2nd, which is the following Monday as of the filming of this video, we would have to see iOS 18.2 RC this week. And it doesn't make a lot of sense, as I mentioned, because during Thanksgiving week in the U.S., Apple typically does not release any betas or even RC software, but who knows? Apple has been unpredictable and Mark Gurman has been correct many times. So either Apple releases 18.2 on December 2nd without an RC release, or we won't see iOS 18.2 until perhaps Monday, December 9th, which has always been the day that I thought the software would release. In my opinion, I think next week on the week of the 2nd of December, we'll get iOS 18.2 RC release candidate. And the following Monday on Monday the 9th, we should get the official release of iOS 18.2. But again, I could be wrong. We'll have to wait and see. We still have a few more days before Thanksgiving this week. I'll keep you guys posted. But as of right now, I believe December 9th would be the official release day for iOS 18.2. And there you guys have it. My honest thoughts on iOS 18.2 and some of these new Apple intelligent capabilities like Genmoji, Image Playground, ChatGPT support, visual intelligence. And these are my honest thoughts. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.